In the first round, Laskar had black against the Soviet master Ilya Khan. Here is how his opponent remembered it. A dense crowd of spectators gathered at the place of battle. Sunk deep in thought with his ever-present cigar, the former world champion was the image of the untiring chess knight, a dangerous opponent for experienced grandmasters and young monsters alike. Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we will analyze that game played between Soviet chess master Ilya Khan and the second world chess champion Emmanuel Lasker. The game happened in 1935 in Moscow. Dear OSF Onos, thanks for the game suggestion, almost rock, now we will enjoy the game together, here we go. Khan opened up with d4 to which Lasker answered with d5, c4, c6, Slav defense is on the board and we are going for an exchange variation. Then both players are developing their pieces symmetrically and white queen jumps on b3, hitting on b7. Knight a5 attacking the queen, the threat is neutralized, then black covered his uh, king. Queen goes back to c2. Let me tell you that Aronian had this position several times and the players are playing pretty accurately, you know. Uh, I'm really, I really like how they are playing the opening. Moreover, let me tell you that this particular position happened in 2012 between Ivan Sakalov and Bu Xianji. The latter proceeded with g6, but in our game we have e6. Bishop d3, bishop e7, knight e5, knight c4, queen e2, after which both players castled kingside. In this game, up to the critical point, we will see lots of maneuvering. Then an exchange on c4 happened, bishop b1, and since this bishop can be very venomous on this diagonal, black are is to neutralize it with f5, and looks like that white is preparing e4 breakthrough, although e4 will land very late. Meanwhile, the dark squared bishops are also gone. Bishop d7, queen d2, nothing special at the moment we have an equal game on the board. Rook d7, rook e1, well already it was high time to go for e4, but still white is not hurrying. Rook b8, queen e1, rook b7, rook d2, knight d7, bishop b1, e5, and now it's Lasker who decides to take measures. Queen goes to g3, queen e6. Better was playing queen f6 and in that case white can no longer go for e4. He takes d4 will land. Also on e6 we will soon see that the queen is exposed to attacks. Okay, white goes for e4. Uh, once I finish the game I will turn on stockfish and we will stop on key moments. He takes d4, he takes f5. Now black queen is under attack. Lasker moved it to f6 and this time white played rook e6. And it was in here that Lasker made a queen sacrifice and he played d takes c3. Looks interesting, right? Let's see how is this madness going to end. And black spawn, it was the e pawn, right? It was the e pawn appears on the second rank and is ready to be promoted to a queen. Rook takes g6 check. This time it's Khan who is making a sacrifice. By sacrificing his queen, his rook, sorry, he is exposing black king and is starting to harass it. King e8, bishop c2, stopping the pawn. Uh, rook b6, protecting the bishop on c6, f6. Meanwhile, white wants to make use of his pawn. At the moment, there is a mating threat. King d8, the threat is neutralized, but this f pawn is stepping forward. King c8 and f8 queen. This is the first queen promotion. Knight takes f8. Yeah, black is forced to give up his knight. At the moment, what is interesting, according to Stockfish, there is an equality on the board and on this critical uh, moment, white makes a mistake, plays queen f6, which is the losing move. King a6, queen d6, rook e8. Yeah, now how to stop this threat. h4, rook e1 check, king h2, rook c1, 
Yeah, Black just wants to kick away that bishop and freely go for a pawn promotion. And there it goes, the second pawn promotion uh, we see in this game. Yeah, Black is totally winning. Bishop c8 check, king a5, queen c5 check, king a4. Black king is in safety, there are no more checks, and white resigned. The ex-world champion's first victory in this tournament was made by an ovation from the tournament hall. Okay, Stockfish is on, and now let's go for the game from here on. Look, Stockfish says that better playing queen f6. Yeah, in that case, if e4, then just e takes d4. But instead we have queen e6 and e4 already, it's white who has advantage. Plus 2, e takes d4, e, e takes a5. And so e takes a5 is bad, and the winning move is e takes d5 actually. Yeah, I'm really surprised why not e takes d5. If queen f6, then just d takes e6, and what is crushing, guys? Rook d7. And it's not like that this is a complex line to find. Takes, takes, queen e5. What is completely winning, guys? Instead, in our game, we have uh, e takes f5, and after queen f6, rook e6. Yeah, now it's black who has a slight edge and d takes c3 lands. Queen g7 is the top line according to engine, but yeah, it's not the move which Lasker is going to play. He makes this dashing queen sacrifice and heats up the position. Yeah, and now the only move which is allowing white to survive is rook g6 check, bishop c2, then just knight takes f6, black is winning. That's why we have rook g6 check, takes, takes, king f8, king e8, bishop c2, rook b6, f6, king d8, f7, king c8. Several moves the players really made accurately, made accurate moves. f8 queen, takes, takes, yeah, still there is an equality on the board, but it's in here that with queen f6, white spoils everything. And better was queen e7 check. If king a6, then queen c5. Keeping an eye on c6 at the same time, then white can move to his queen to d4. But finding these nuances over the board turned out to be beyond count strength. It's complex. Queen d4, rook e2, king f1, white is holding the balance. But instead we have queen f6 and king a6, connecting the rooks. Queen d6, yeah, and I have queen d4 then rook b2 if here bishop a4, black is winning. In our game, yeah, in our game we have queen d6 and rook e8. Here, check, yeah, it's over. Very confidently black is realizing the advantage. It's over, guys. It's over. White cannot do anything. An interesting game, I think. A dramatic one. Hope that you enjoyed it and feel free to share with your friends. In the end, the uh, chess problem, the task is to mate in two. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.